decision to be the most trusted bank in the Nordics, Danske Bank is using the Renaissance movement in artificial intelligence to break new ground in the monumental battle against sophisticated fraud globally. Artificial intelligence is uh, where I would say uh, machine learning stops. So with machine learning, what we've seen is you can only reach to a certain level. When you want to do uh, real, you could say, uh, data harvesting and, and getting some of the deeper insight in, into what is going on, example is fraud, for instance. So we have really been using machine learning, all kinds of methods, and we reach a very good result. But it's like it's capped at a certain level, and then you cannot go beyond that. Um, but this is where deep learning comes into the picture. Danske Bank is using deep learning to identify and track fraud in two areas, finding fraudsters who attack the bank. Sometimes, uh, in, in some scam cases, the fraudsters attack us for 10 minutes, and then they never return. Their goal is actually just to get the maximum value of those 10, 15 minutes uh, of fame, as we call it, and, and then stop. And customer fraud to protect their customers from scams. It's all about behavior. And uh, if a customer all of a sudden uh, goes from interacting with uh, or purchasing things on eBay in the UK or Germany, uh, but then it's, uh, it's uh, Alibaba on, uh, in, in China, there might be something going on, but it could be valid as well. Progressing in their artificial intelligence strategy with deep learning, Danske Bank is using a champion challenger method with models that are learning. We have uh, uh, one champion model and a set of challengers uh, running uh, in parallel, basically, um, looking at the same data. Um, what happens is we, we compare live what's going on, which is performing better and then we uh, automatically push a challenger model into production and take over the position of the champion. Results have been dramatic. Before Danske Bank had 1,200 false positives a day, cases that had to be analyzed by Danske Bank investigators, and sometimes even external agencies like Interpol. AI and deep learning reduced that by 60%, saving investigators significant time, allowing them to investigate the real cases of fraud. Detecting true positives increased to 50% after Danske Bank applied deep learning. That's real money. Uh, and, and the thing is, uh, as any large organization, we always talk about cost versus benefit. In this case, it's so much easier because the money, the benefit, is money you can put directly in your pocket. Putting winning results together took an eclectic and diverse team platform, technical, and data engineers, data scientists, the business, and even highly trained criminal investigators. Combined with experts in artificial intelligence and deep learning, Danske Bank is just scratching the surface with results for the business. The way we wanted to, to use Think Big Analytics were to, to bring in some experts uh, with deep knowledge about deep learning. Uh, and how we could actually utilize this technology to take all our results to the next level. So we tried out uh, some different models, CNNs, LSTMs, and so on, and we can now see some of the early results coming in which are uh, really, really impressive. Actually, uh, to be honest, the first uh, result I saw uh, as a, a demo, we call it, um, on top of our Agile uh, Sprint, um, I, I didn't believe uh, the results. Um, and, and the guys actually had some trouble explaining it as well. Uh, but the results were true and, and actually so fantastic that um, I nearly lost it. <laughs> results from a process that taught the Danske Bank team critical lessons. Build it yourself, start small, and get help. In the end... It's definitely worth it. Uh, hands down, this is uh, a, a high point in my career, I would say. Uh, because um, I, I'm a science guy, um, so, so I love these methods and, and talking about uh, some of the more complex stuff, but it's definitely worth it, hands down. Uh, is it easy? No, it's not. Uh, and if I could give one advice, it would be start with something concrete and something small. 
do not go for, okay, I, I need to uh, put a, a man on the moon or something like that. Start with something where you could just crawl, basically. And, and if you start to see some good results, build on that. Danske Bank, innovating in artificial intelligence and deep learning to detect sophisticated fraud to be the most trusted bank in the Nordics.